So this tip is to maybe introduce you guys, maybe you guys are, you know, some of you guys are familiar, but introduce you guys to the idea of using marker as um, your underpainting tool. And I personally use this for watercolor, but you can use it underneath an acrylic painting or underneath a, a pastel drawing or pretty much underneath any other kind of more finalized media that you want to put it under. And I just think that um, water soluble pens really just make such a great transitional tool. I mean, not only are they great standalone tools, but I just use them interdisciplinary and I, um, I, I sometimes even forget where I've put watercolor down or where I've put marker down, but usually every piece that I do, I'll start out with a, a marker base. And that's just because when you put watercolor over top, it blends as one material. Um, but if you do acrylic over the top, uh, it's probably not going to do as much blending, but it'll still be a good way to get your underpainting down with um, more of a precise tip, you know, like a felt tip. And you can cover it up as much as you want. But I will go in with any sorts of marker. It just doesn't even matter the brand. Um, except for that I just, I, I don't really use alcohol-based markers during this process because they are going to kind of sink into the paper more and you're not going to be able to blend them out as much as a water soluble marker. Um, and so that's why I like to use water soluble markers. And there's such a crazy range of price points for water soluble markers. And honestly, some of the best markers I've found are from like the dollar store or from like the used section of my local art store um, and that's mainly just because I, I trash my materials just by layering uh, you know marker over watercolor over marker over watercolor and then adding pastel and then dragging marker over that but basically once you realize that marker can be used in so many different ways it's it's just such an, a great, cheap, and approachable tool. And so right now, this drawing, I've gone in with marker, and I've gone in with a little bit of pastel, and I've also gone in with a little bit of painting already, and now I'm going back in with watercolor. And this is just to kind of mark out some more spots before I go over them with watercolor and you can really use any tone underneath the painting that you want um, I just mainly use you know whatever markers next to me because you can cover up the tone and color correct it But yeah, this is basically just to mark out where you want to put your final painting over top. And you can even, you know, if you like the look of marker, you can go in and you do marker first, and then you do your painting, and then you can go back in with marker um, and get that, that look that sometimes you want to go for instead of a more painterly look. So I just interchange the two. And 
I'll probably go over this with more watercolor. And when you put watercolor over top of these water soluble markers, they just blend so nicely. So now I'm just going to hit it with some blue. And I'm going to try to bring the face up from the background just a little bit. And you can even integrate some of this blue into the face, why not? some white to bring this plane of the face up and this is you know something I can't really achieve with marker and so that's why it's great to just use them interchangeably you know using marker and then going into your painting it's just such a unique look to have a drawing within a painting, within a drawing, that's kind of ambiguous and it's fun to realize that you can kind of push down those those boundaries of painting or drawing and you can do both, why not? And like, you really can't go wrong because if you aren't happy with placement or the color or whatever of something you can literally just block it out with watercolor and then carve it back in with with marker but yeah see like this up here that's marker and it's just creating such a nice glowy tone this green, it's going to make a good mid-tone, push that eye socket back and show that this face is going upwards and you're looking at it from an upward angle, so I'll just put that in the shadows a little bit. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. <laughs>